Okay, Anthony from Contractors Debt Recovery back again. Today we're going to talk about uh, reading contracts. This is not a detailed legal lecture. This is how to read contracts. And to start, you need three key ingredients. The first is a nice juicy red pen. The second is a yellow highlighter. And the third is a strong cup of coffee. Now get those three things in front of you and then pull the contract out and now you're ready to go. Okay, you need to go through and read your contract. Don't read the page where it says how much they're gonna pay you. I know that's all very exciting. But uh, there are other things that are even more exciting and more important, which is all the terms, annexures, and all the other guff that's in there. So read it from beginning to end, quietly on a weekend when you can co concentrate and focus. If you don't understand something, I want you to highlight it. Highlight the whole section. If there's a part of it that you reject that you think is ridiculous, and there'll be some of that, I guarantee you, I want you to get the nice juicy red pen and red ink it. And if you have an alternative suggestion, scroll in what your alternative is. Go through beginning to end, and you should have two lists. You need to be creating two lists. Everything that I've yellow highlighted, which I don't understand, and those things in red, which I don't agree. Some might be both. You don't agree with it, and you don't understand it. <laughs> There'll be a lot of that in there. Okay, create two lists and then go back and review them and then seek advice and seek help. Don't be pushed and rushed to sign a contract that you, parts of which you reject or you don't understand. That's just a death warrant. So forget about that. You then need to study the general terms and conditions of the contract. There'll be a section on that. And there'll be also particulars towards the back. The particulars showing liquidated damages amounts, percentages, uh, interest rates, uh, and other bits and pieces, the date on which you have to make claims, date, due date for payment. Understand all of that, it's all very important. There's a reason they're at the back of the contract, so they hope you give up by the time you get there. Persist and understand all those things. Read all your annexures and understand them. Special conditions and amendments, read them. Understand them, make them part of your list. Study your contract and then get help. If you can do those things, you'll be armed, uh, in, you'll be in a far stronger position uh, when it comes to starting your work and ultimately arguing about payment. So please make that part of your business and I'll see you next time.